Uh, as a participant in the UNAOC's Young Peace Builders program, one of the most important things I've learned is the dialogue skills that I've gained throughout the program, whether through the online phase or the face-to-face -face phase that we are going through right now. It started with self-identity, knowing your goals, what do you want to achieve in life, how are you contributing, and then getting in more details about the development and peace building in terms of the research that has been published, the history, the analysis, and then the different approaches that is being used and implemented in the peace building sector nowadays. The theoretical part was online, and then the face-to-face -face part was enriching this experience by even exchanging ideas, knowledge, and even perspectives on the topics that we have had on the online uh, a platform with all the participants from the MENA region, from Iran and from Spain. And the, the most important thing is like how to make a change in, the, in, our, uh, in our community, how to make like uh, uh, more uh, peace, how to, how to build a sustainable community. Uh, that uh, all people are together, there is no racism, there is no extremism, there is no radical parties or radical uh, religions. So now uh, in this program, uh, this program enriched me very, uh, very much in a few concepts, in a few tools, in the workshop, and also I met many, many people who, who are very inspired, they inspired me very much and uh, we, we had a very uh, great time uh, sharing our experiences and uh, learning from each other and uh, it was a very great moment to, to be in this program. I think the online part uh, is, was one of the fundamental uh, uh, stage of the program because like it was very enriched with the different uh, documents, discussions and uh, articles we they assigned to us so like to make uh, it, it made me prepared and uh, very open to the discussion uh, during the workshop. It gave us a very safe place in order to share opinions. I learned a lot about the experiences, uh, the thoughts, the ideas that the participants had. Uh, I learned a lot about their hopes, dreams, goals um, uh, that, they, uh, that they have for the future. Taking these ideas and perspectives and learning about each other, uh, going back home, it will give me another insight about how we need to address certain issues and certain ideas regarding the MENA region, because in a way or in another way, we are all brothers and sisters in this MENA region. The United Nations Alliance of Civilizations Young Peace Builders program will contribute to my work uh, professionally back home in two ways. The first way is in my organization and my company's work with youth. It will help uh, develop my skills um, that's so that when I go back home, I can use these skills to contribute to the development of other youth and community members that I work with. Um, and the second way, it will help me develop my project and my initiative that I will develop when I go home. Uh, and that's through the skills that I will learn, that's through the networks that I was able to make here in the workshop. That I'm gonna implement in Egypt, where I'm from, uh, specifically in Cairo, is going to be designing a curriculum for intercultural learning and peace building uh, curriculum, mainly focusing on identity, diversity and anti-racism in schools and in universities. The project that I'm going to implement in uh, Egypt, Cairo, uh, uh, with the organization that we found uh, uh, in uh, 
two years ago is called Agents for SDGs and we're working with youth on uh, 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 realization of uh, sustainable development goals and we create a project called Peace Story which we uh, create a virtual stories about the uh, unheard stories of peace building that going in the community and nobody like noticed this so we're trying to realize this effort and also to create this counter narrative and the stories that can make people more inspired to do the same especially with the different lines of diversity in religion in, uh, in culture and in different, uh, uh, different diversity in our society. This program will help me as a program coordinator at Generations for Peace as I'm working for them on a Dialogue for Peace program to will help me in contributing better through having those knowledge and enriching experiences and perspectives and bring them back to the field. So young people play a huge role nowadays in civil society. We try to bring a new addition to many uh, concepts and projects and decision-making processes. Let's make the voices heard of young people because they have so much to bring with so much energy. I think that uh, young people have an important role to play in peace building and, and conflict prevention, mostly uh, because we are that this is a really, you know, important idea. We are the future, and that's true. Like, what we learn, what we are doing now, it's going to help us change society in the future. Like, we are the future. We're the new generations who are going to cope with all these conflicts we're having now. I would like first to thank UNOC for this rich and valuable workshop. We've come here, all of us from different countries from the MENA region, but with the same goal, which is promote peace and tolerance. I believe as a young peace builder that together we can develop our communities, we can alleviate poverty, reinforce justice and equal opportunity. Together we can combat violence, discrimination and fear. And together we can promote peace, tolerance and understanding. Together we can make a difference. La cuestión fundamental o uno de los mensajes clave es la apelación a los jóvenes a que se activen y hagan política. Aquellos jóvenes que no hagan política verán cómo la política se va a hacer contra ellos. Entendimos que este programa de jóvenes constructores de paz era un programa que ajustaba perfectamente a la consecución de nuestros objetivos y que además nos permitía construir paz no en una cuestión de presente, sino en esa necesidad de construcción de liderazgos futuros.